Hello, my name is Shadley, and welcome back for another episode of Hunter and 3, Black Eyes as PRC. So in previous episodes, we finally, after so many episodes of waiting, got the chance to declare war in Japan, and we're liberating the fellow Chinese lands. It's a little bit surely. We haven't made any huge uh, progress yet, but we are at least... Actually, I'm going to go ahead and redeploy these two slightly closer in here. Provide some uh, backup positions in case we need to fall back. Hopefully we don't have to. Ooh, agrari oh, agricultural industry. Okay, that's going to give us 100 manpower. Not that we're short on manpower. And a lot of supplies. Not that we're short on supplies either. And it'll give us 10% more manpower for a... Over a year. Or about a year. Not over a year. So let's get that. Cold rationing. I don't think we really need that, to be fair. Like, sure, we could get 5% more energy, but it's not worth all the descent hassle. So we'll just say no to pretty much all of this, actually. And there's the medium arm design level 3, so now we can finally research the assault guns. And that'll be quite something. Uh, so what are the tanks? So we got the light armor design upgrade recently, so that's just a generic now. And BT-7M is our medium armor. The heavy armor is also just generic names. But regardless, at least it's uh, slowly getting better. How is the piercing ammo? So it's uh, level 1 thus far. We don't really need to have or worry too much of the piercing I guess the Japanese, mind you, but uh, later on I'm sure that there's going to be some need for it, or use it for it. There we go, Victory Changsha. I suppose we could switch our target to, to be in the mountains in here, because that's probably going to be the harder place for us to attack. Oh, right. We've got a whole lot of uh, provinces that they're attacking from. Mostly from Yuqian, actually. Okay, we're probably going to be able to hold on to that. Uh, they're doing a lot of counter attacks up here. These are moving uh, north. I suppose this one could be this is part of the first core. I'm going to move this one to help in uh, Duolun. I suppose uh, Alberto's over here in the mountains is at least uh, holding the ground at a decent way. We'll get some reinforcements in there in due time. Ooh, a national wartime fiscal policy. Uh, we could maybe go with the low yield. But honestly, I don't... Well, yeah, we'll go with the low yield. We do need a bit of money. We don't want to worry too much about the descent or anything like that. Beijing is under attack. Well, I don't think that's going to be a huge issue. Nor is they attacking the mountains. We've got mountaineers defending that have ha had some time to dig in. Eight days worth of uh, digging in, so it's not quite perfect yet, but it's pretty darn good. And the enemy units attacking into Tianjin are having some hard time punching through, I reckon. I mean, the losses must be quite, uh, well, not astronomical yet, but very high regardless. Stab in the back. Oh, that means that the Italians have joined the war. Indeed, they have. Not our war, mind you, but... Uh, wars in Europe. That means the Germans... No, they haven't actually arrived next to Paris yet, but they decided to join in the war regardless. And Norway, yeah, there's nothing new happening in Norway. So we managed to take at least some lands initially. This might not be as uh, quick of a... Oh, Governors of Guerrillas. Oh, ah. Okay, yeah, there's one over there. Uh, second echelon advance. Right, so that's going to unlock some more Deep Battle Doctrine stuff in here. Armour Headquarters, for example, that will reduce the delays quite a bit. We could get the Paratrooper support just to reduce the transporter costs. I don't think we'll be using Paratroopers too much of this. Also the Theatre Headquarters, to be fair, that we might want to get. And the Sniper Warfare. We're back to 177 research, and we can only do 41 now, with all the changes in laws and all that. So, not necessarily the best of situations, mind you. But I guess it'll do. So, uh, what do we know with the partisans in here? Not too much. Unfortunately, I don't know if these can actually be upgraded. Probably not. Let's go ahead and cut off some of the supply lines that might be in here. And it looks like the engine attack, and they're down to four units attacking now. They're also trying to attack to multiple other places, so our ground attacks into the mountains in here are probably making a pretty decent effect. Uh, they're still attacking with four divisions into Shengde, but that's not going to well for them we'll send in these to aid and we haven't gotten the third division in here into Dulon. Ah, oh, crowd of that focus advance there we go transport ship engines advance so oh oh they got armored units in here as well well light armor and armor engineers and that sort of stuff so it's their uh, semi-motorized division that has those which is attacking beijing in fact but so uh, the armor is 12 we got piercing of 25 on at least the infantry divisions well light infantry in this case so that's going to shatter itself. There's no denying that. So if nothing else, the Japanese are at least having a lot of um, hard time punching through our lines. We'll get a little bit of uh, production. That's going to give us more energy and metal, apparently. 
we we'll limit the reinforcements right now to like one and a half maybe or somewhere around there. It will be a little bit more than what we need. But it's also not going to be too bad. We don't need to constantly be switching that around. Oh, there we go. Beijing was a victory. We could potentially try doing an attack or counterattack in here. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. And then these, as soon as they're ready, will join in that one. It's more of a uh, case of uh, just wait for the enemy to do mistakes and then uh, kind of uh, take advantage of it. I'm going to go ahead and retreat the motorized division back before it takes too much damage. We may need to pull back a little bit for... Oh, that's a lot of troops there. Okay, it's a lot of highlands, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to defend. So I suppose what we'll do is we'll take the 7th Corps. Move it in here. And we'll go ahead and start sending in troops to defend the provinces in the rear. We could even build like a pillbox on both of these. Real quick. It doesn't take too long. And we can probably buy just about enough time for it. And that's going to allow us to at least have some sort of a strong point to defend in the north. For the time being. And then we can utilize the river over here for a decent defense as well. Once we get forward. They've got a lot of troops in here. Ah, oh, the radar advanced. There we go. So now we can get the small ASOS radar. And maybe the medium one later on. We don't really need it right now. It's the bombing side. So that's close. As well would get some stats from that. So we will get that one as well. And looks like the enemy cavalry over here in... Oh, Yixian is uh, falling. Getting another victory at Union uh, Hall. So I suppose one of the things that I could do... I'm going to go ahead and take the... We are going to move in the garrison probably down here as well. From uh, Beijing because it's not really going to be needed in there anymore. We will leave... Actually, no, we're not going to move that. We'll put it into Tangshan as soon as we're able to. We could probably go ahead and move another unit in here too. They still got four units attacking. Kind of surprising in that regard, but I suppose we can go just ahead and do some crown attack into Utian. So it's another mountain province. So if we can wreck the enemy units there sooner rather than later, that will make it quite a difference. Oh, there we go. Reconnaissance aircraft is ahead of time. So we can drop that from the research queue. And the marine activation will be done very shortly. Ooh, major victory in Chengde. So we did lose 4,000 men. They lost 27,000. Oh boy. And I suppose with that, we're going to take the Mountaineer divisions and start attacking into Kuangcheng. Provide some uh, flanking uh, or protection for the flank of uh, Lunghua. Although it's not being attacked from there right now, but we are going to get some more divisions in there soon enough. There we go, victory at Tangshan once again. And Tianjin is still, is still kind of combat. It's not very bloody combat for, from our perspective, but... Uh, it's still ongoing. I suppose we can go ahead and take uh, at least one over there. We'll give it one more division to join the attack in Kuangcheng, just so that we get five divisions in there. Ooh, we'll fight up over to interceptor conversion advance, recon unit combined on. Did we have actually some more? Right, there's a decent bit of text over here that we still need to do. But we're doing most of it already, so it's not that bad. So in the north, we're going to have some problems. Hopefully we can delay enough uh, for the motorized division to arrive in here so that I can then pull back in a good order. They've got 11 units attacking. So even though we've got fairly good troops, all things considered, we're not going to be able to defeat that uh, with just a couple of divisions in open terrain. Oh, right, so we've got another unit in here. I suppose that could join in there. I'm sending the mountain division to the north as well, towards uh, Luan here. And there's the marines. Oh, and we can also research the landing craft now. Excellent. That is something I kind of want to get resources as soon as possible. We might not be doing a lot of landings quite yet. Maybe eventually into Taiwan. Or Formosa, as, as the Japanese would be calling it. Oh, major defeat. At least we got all the troops in there safely. Uh, it's just the motorized division didn't have time to join in the combat. We are getting some more troops in here to hold the um, back row. But it's going to take at least probably a week before they are in position. Oh, right, and we're moving it around here. I suppose, um... Can we wreck that, uh, headquarters? Wrecking might be a bit of a wrong choice of words here. But I believe we are at least dealing some damage. And we got another major victory in Tianjin. Oh, yeah, they lost 33,000 men. We lost over 3,000, admittedly, but, uh... Yeah, oh, and propaganda fails. Well, that's not good. We need a bit more reinforcements, that's for sure. Did we ever get the... Right, the Secretary of Public Information is probably underway, or at least soon-ish underway. There's the broadcasting. It's probably not that far behind. 
Actually, it is pretty far behind. I'm going to go ahead and get the close air support to the top of the list. Just so we can get a slightly better range for the bombers and all that. But I suppose if they are pulling back from here, we can go ahead and start pushing in there ourselves. And the light infantry in there, and I suppose we've got another infantry division that can start pushing to uh, Luanhe. Just to have a bit more strength going in. Uh, Kuang Cheng is at least falling. And I suppose the Albrecht is probably going to have to retreat soon enough, but we are at least dealing a lot of damage in the defense in here. That one's going to be fine. This one's uh, going to be fine for now. We are going to get... Oh, right. Um, oh, we actually won the combat for a brief moment there. But it was probably just uh, Drew trying to move through and then realize, oh, there's someone in there. We can't move through. Right, there's the um, destroyers. I'm going to go ahead and get another... Did we unlock the... We did unlock the light cruisers. Did we have any light cruisers underway yet? We do. We got some torpedo boats as well. And we got some more destroyers. We could go ahead and get a few more destroyers. Although, did we start building submarines? We did. I'm going to go ahead and get a few more submarines. So, a bit more naval stuff. Can I actually... Oh, I could do ground attacks there, but I suppose uh, wrecking the enemy in here that was doing the counter attack into Tianjin is probably going to be our best interest. As soon as they are retreating from here, we can go ahead and do ground attacks into Luanhe. And we've taken Tangshan. I'm going to go ahead and take um, three of these to attack into Shengli. Fengsheng is under attack. Well, at least was for... Oh, no, it is still under attack. There's three units attacking there. We'll have four mountaineers in there. It's mountain division... or mountain divisions in mountains, so the defense modifier should be quite significant. And Spanish state wants to buy some tungsten. I suppose we can probably do that. Do we have... Oh, yeah, we've got another infantry division in here. I suppose that could get to Yutian. And how are we doing on the battle in Luanhe? Um, for the most part, it seems to be fine. Let's go ahead and get some ground attack in there. That'll make uh, quite a bit of difference, I reckon. Right, at least the... Oh. Right, this is not going to be going all that well. I, I suppose the, mo or the motorized division can hold back the enemy for a while. That's going to have buy enough time for the infantry to start getting in here, start digging in. But yeah, the northern front was um, a bit worse than I expected. Now, to be fair, the Japanese probably had a whole lot of troops on the Soviet border. And this is where most of these are coming from. I wonder, is Mukton open? Probably isn't. If we can take Mukden, they would get rid of the leadership and organization modifiers for at least a little while. It is open. We've got a bit of delay going on still, so we can't actually move in there. Oh, UGN is under attack. Well, was under attack, briefly. But these are moving in. We've got some more troops moving in here. Oh, fighter ground control. I'm going to go ahead and move in the garrison to Changchun. To hold some of that, we can go ahead and send another one of these to attack along the coastline. So we'll try to... Encircle these headquarters. Well, it's only headquarters, so it's not really that much. I guess we can just go ahead and push those out. And I think uh, we'll pull back the general, uh, at least for it to re or regain its organization and all that. I'm also going to go ahead and send in this one to retreat, so it can start gaining some organization since it's not in combat and it's in friendly territory. And it does have supplies. There we go. That's one of the enemy units uh, pushed out. And the ground attacks, oh, I think we may have just shattered and one of the cavalry divisions there. Oh, we lost Dawa. Oh, right, yeah, we did lose Dawa. Oh, uh, okay, the partisans on, did not get to Mukden, but that is a whole lot of enemy units in here that started moving to the east. Do you have any? Oh, yeah, we could go ahead and send... Actually, I'm not going to send the division there directly, but I'm going to give a support attack with the uh, 30th division. Just so that we can break the enemy uh, resistance slightly faster. I suppose we could also go ahead and attack from here. We'll go ahead and use some of the light infantry to attack into Shengli. I suppose the rest of that can just sit tight for the time being. Got a little bit extra upgrades and we'll need more reinforcements. So at least the motorized division is holding back the enemy for a while. We have taken a lot of damage in uh, Shilin Hot. But we are at least uh, got on the defensive line at the rear now. So it's just a... Uh... Ooh. We did win Mukden, okay. But we are going to get uh, Shatter in here soon enough. Possibly even destroy, but it's a free unit. We don't really worry about it if we lose it or not. There's still three units defending in Luanhe. But at least we managed to push a little bit forward. I do actually wonder. Maybe we'll go ahead and take these two units to start hitting uh, Jinglong. Because they are doing counterattacks from there. So if we break that Marine Division slightly sooner, 
That might be better. Plus, I suppose that should be still... Yeah, that is within range of the close air support. So as soon as we've broken the enemy in one here... Ooh, okay, first... Uh, Oh, right, yeah, that was the partisan unit. Got shattered. Got all of the battle in Mukden. Twice. Do we still have this one? I suppose we could actually go ahead and move this one a little bit closer. It's going to take a while before the upgrades are done. Although the motorcycle recon upgrade is almost completed. So that's kind of good. Looks like the counterattacks in here are... Um, yeah, they're not doing all that strong. As soon as the motorized division gets a little bit of... Oh. Right, yeah, we're losing ground in Mukden. But we managed to at least uh, take some ground, and I think now we're getting into somewhat defensive terrain here in the middle. Not so much in the north yet. If we build a little bit of pillboxes in here, we can probably... Oh, there we go. Tactical attack focus advance. Wait, is that tactical? The one over here. Right, interdiction. Over. I think we don't actually need that one right now. Interdiction can be kind of handy, especially... Like, it basically targets uh, troops that are moving. But since we don't really have a lot of bombers that have a lot of range or anything like that, it's kind of uh, wasted, quite frankly. So now we've got four units in here. We've started digging in. I think we're going to go ahead and send one of these down there to split the troops somewhat evenly. Ah, oh, there we go. So Longhua is at least uh, looking pretty decent. There's still two marine divisions trying to attack the mountains. So we've got three infantry divisions there holding our ground, and I suppose that one's going to get pushed back, I reckon. Now, the question is, of course, are we going to get pushed out of here? We probably are. Go ahead and retreat one of these uh, already. At least now we've got some uh, room to dig in. They do have the bombers in here, which is probably a large chunk of the reason why we're getting pushed back. Not the only reason, of course. They've got a lot of numbers in there. Right, so we lost the areas in Mukden. Um, France wants to buy Tungsten. You know what? Giving France some chances of uh, dealing some damage to the Germans. It's not really a bad idea. And we're wrecking the gar or the headquarters over here in Letting. So that we can start pushing along the coastline a bit further, hopefully. I'm looking over here. So that one's pulled out of the combat already. Uh, the mountaineer... Or the, uh, sorry, the armored... Or the motorized division is not going to be in combat uh, strength yet. We did uh, win another battle in Dulu. And they keep on trying to attack there with, like, um, oh no, it's uh, still a decent division. Okay. Ah, fusing and, uh, or warhead and fusing advance, and guidance advance, so those are probably, are they ahead of time? Yes, they are. So we'll drop those. I'm going to reduce the upgrades a bit further. We are going to get some anti aircraft guns in Guangzhou. We are going to start getting, actually, we've already got on some of the radars. But that does help a little bit with the air combat, at least. Not that there's been a lot of air combat. Yeah, they're bombing in the north, so we need to pull back from there, I reckon. Uh, this was part of the southern coast. I'm going to pull that across the river. And then this one's probably going to go back to here. I'm also going to start retreating the motorized division. We'll pull back from there. So it's a bit more work exhaustion from that. We did lose 5,500 men in that combat. They did lose 9,000, so it wasn't um, completely brotlin free for them either. But yeah, that was a bit of a rough one. But we knew that they would do a bit of a counterattack. We're just hoping that we can do enough damage in the initial push. Ooh, there we go. Victory at Longhua. Uh, so we did lose 6,500 men. They lost 23,000. And now we can start digging in there, hopefully. And thus making the next attack even harder for them. So we've got most of the Mountaineer core up here in Quangxing. Oh, more guerrillas. Oh, there's a lot of them. Actually, not that much. Well, this is right behind the enemy lines here. <laughs> All right, well, that's probably going to get shattered. Oh, that reminds me, can these uh, partners, they cannot be upgraded to anything, so I'm just going to go and disband these. No point in spending the officers for them. As soon as they get destroyed. Oh, conclusion after victory. Aha, victory at Shengli. We did take a bit of casualties. That was our attack, mind you. So it kind of makes sense that it is a bit costly. We might be able to then sort of uh, try to encircle some of these troops. Probably not, won't be able to do too much. Hopefully we can at least pull up some of that off. We can go ahead and send this one back to the combat just to get the fight going. Ah, there's propulsion in advance, so we can get the torpedoes upgraded. And remove that one. Also, the submarine damage control is something we might want to get another level in there. Not that we have any submarines yet, but we will once we get around to it. There's nine divisions attacking into Mountain Quangcheng. I don't know if they're doing a lot of uh, ground attack there. Probably not too much. Oh, yeah, we did lose that one. So now this partisan is going to get... Yeah, it's going to get shattered. Yeah, there we go. Well, let's just go ahead and disband that. They're not really units that will make a lot of a difference. 
in the fighting here, all things considered. So, yeah. Ooh, integrated support events. There we go. And also, the future motorized division is starting to get the uh, recon, at least, there soon enough. Can I actually... Mm, oh, right, that was part of the combat, wasn't it? Right, well, now we have dug in a little bit. We've got four divisions versus their one attacking, so I think we are in a fairly good shape, all things considered, although they will probably do a lot of um, repeated attacks. So what we'll probably want to do is pull back one unit from both of these uh, provinces. We will bring in the motorized division out of there first. And then we can uh, do unit rotation. Ah, oh, there we go. Luan here is a victory. So we are pushing the enemy back. Or pushing in them further. Uh, do we... I suppose we could send the U division... Uh, to help in the defense of the mountain province in here. Get some more troops in there just to provide that extra oomph into the front line. And then now we have at least uh, surrounded this headquarters and it's still probably going to be shattering, mind you. Actually, mm, we could use the garrison to give a support attack. It's got heavy artillery. Otherwise, it's not necessarily particularly good to have a combat unit. But with the extra damage from the artillery, I think that will still make a bit of a difference in here. And now we're starting to get some troops to the front line in Shangli. So I suppose if they're doing counterattack in here, along the coastline, uh, once that counterattack is done, we could potentially just send it another, or, or keep on pushing forward, further and further. Now this combat, on the other hand, needs to stop. That's not going to go well. That's another major defeat. Lost 9,000 men in that combat. And they're now going to be doing a counterattack into Eugene. But that says Garrison, so that was quite costly for them. They lost 400 men there. I suppose we can go ahead and start doing some ground attack in... here, in Jinglong. And wreck some of those marines attacking us. Once we get the 38th division in here, we'll rotate at least one of the mountaineers back. So that we can start getting some uh, organization. Oh. Interesting. Well, I suppose they're doing the bombing runs in here still. It's a good thing that we got our interceptors in here. So they don't dare to do too much ground attacks in the initial area, at least in here. So we're going to go ahead and... Switch the air interceptor. It's still going to be only daily. Go with that. So at least up to there we got defended. But I suppose uh, on the north side of the river we can't do much about the thing. Oh, that's uh, one of the mountain air divisions needs to pull back. So I'm going to pull it back to Chengde. We got the 38th division almost in here. Zhongli is under attack again. Well, that's... Oh, Keelong. Okay, that was not really the best choice of uh, units to attack with. But sure. I'm going to go ahead and start doing a bit of a counter attack into uh, Jinghuang Dao. Uh, so at least that 14th division that they have in there is not looking too strong. Armored car designed advance. Very nice. And hopefully we can still hold on to the battles in here. I suppose we can send another infantry division up there. And this one can also move in there. It's kind of a strong point in here, or the point that we need to defend. There's the 30th division. Duolun. Or Duolun is under attack by another elite light infantry. Plus they got some bombers in there. They're doing... Nighttime bomber in there. Okay, well, I suppose what I could do is that switch this one to be day and night intercept and up to there. Now, of course, our planes aren't literally the fastest. Oh, and we okay, we're just flying over Dalian. They got quite a bit of planes in there, including some fighter bombers. Right, the pocket has at least uh, slowly been dealt with. They did try to do counterattack, but we did win the battle. Letting is now a victory. We did lose. A little bit troops there, but nothing too massive. Shengli is under attack by, from uh, Jinglong once more. I don't think that's going to be making a huge difference in the grand scheme of things right now. So there's uh, quite a bit of attacks in the center of the front right now. In the north, it's actually kind of um, calmed down again. We'll go ahead and send these two to Shilin Hot. I suppose these, um, we could maybe do a counterattack against the garrison over there soon enough. Now that they got some troops, we'll still build the pill. Actually, did we start building? Yes, we did start building the pillboxes. So we'll at least get one level for both of these, just so that they don't get past this point. Because at that point, there's going to be three or three provinces to defend. Although I suppose since that is impassable, it's technically speaking, it would be just two. But so that we have some sort of um, defensive position in that front line, at least. Oh, there we go, Victor Shengli. And looks like our bombing runs against Jinglong are doing fairly well. How's the battle in here? So, right, they don't have anything attacking from Jinglong anymore. Well, they've still got a whole lot of troops attacking, which is a bit of a problem. We've got another two divisions heading in there, but then we'll have seven. We can probably pull another Mountaineer division back and then let that reorganize. We can probably send in the 
uh, tank division or motorized division up there to help. It's not really great in terms of terrain. But it can move there quickly. It can uh, deal a decent bit of damage. And we'll, oh, vehicle type choice. Oh, right. Okay. We reach a point at which we must decide if we want to push our designs towards casemate vehicles, resulting in cheaper but slightly less potent options, or develop targeted ones which would allow us to retain flexibility and tactical advantages that come with it. I believe this is for the assault uh, guns. I believe we can see it in here. So yeah, assault guns. I think we're going to go with the casemate, so it's going to be a little bit cheaper. They're not as good in combat, but it's good enough, I would say. Okay, so the counter-attack over here isn't going quite as intended, but I suppose we can go ahead and take another three divisions join in that fight. And I suppose there's also not that many defenders in here. Let's take a Mountaineer. There's a garrison and a headquarters. Take these two, attacking the Jinglong. We are still doing the bombing runs in there. So I think we can wreck these fairly easily. We can maybe get in here and start pushing further. We're not managing to get a lot of pockets uh, done right now, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, they've got a cavalry unit in here. Well, that's not necessarily going to be too bad for us to deal with. And there's the sh small shipyard. So while the initial plan was to do a, a large pocket over here, northeast of uh, Beijing, it's uh, not going that way, mostly because the enemy brought in a lot more troops into the center of the front there. So it kind of stopped us from getting through. But one way or the other, at least we're taking provinces. We're slowly pushing them further back. Although very slowly, mind you. Uh, we got just another division in here. We're going to wait until the seventh one is arriving. Oh, and... Got another victory at Dulon. Okay, another motorized division in here is still not good enough to push back into combat. We've got two divisions actually heading in here, so we'll at least retreat one of these. Ah, oh, single engine armor at resource advance. So that's closer and closer to getting the next level of our interceptors. Oh, who are, what's, uh, oh, is under attack still. Oh, well, there we go, victory at uh, Jinghuangda. They got about three, well, took 3,000 losses, they took about half of that. But we are getting ground, we're getting towards Hulidao. Although we might not get it that far out there, to be fair, but it's better than nothing. And go ahead and take one of these light infantry divisions to help attack the mountains in Xinglong. And I suppose this one gonna go move along to get to Xinguangdao. Right, now that we've got seven units in here, we can pull back one of those mountaineers. How's this one? It's uh, got about 19 organization. So not quite as good as what one might hope. But there's the shipyard. IC efficiency has gone up. Actually, it went down there. But it is still a positive number, so I guess it's better than nothing. We're going to get another industry by the end of the month. We get some uh, anti-aircraft guns. We are working on that uh, breakthrough division as well. And that is going to be part of the 7th Corps, so that's probably going to allow us to then start pushing forward. Plus, it's going to have some heavy AA in there. So the enemy bombers will um, rue the day that they strike do airstrikes on that unit. I mean, it's not necessarily going to be that massive uh, damage from the AA, but it does help. Well, there we go. Getting some victories. Jinglong is now a victory. We do not have any range to do more airstrikes in here. I suppose we can let the planes rest for a while. We might be. We are getting a lot of upgrades in here, so we might get to 125 kilometers soon enough. But it might not be happening quite that uh, quickly, I'm afraid. We've got a little bit extra in reinforcements and upgrades. We're also getting a little bit oil rigs. Finally, so we can get us some. Oil. I mean, we've got a little bit crude oil production. Most of that is. From conversion, to be fair. So it's not really that massive. I think we're going to stop this attack. I'll let them do a counter attack and they will win them there. Oh, yeah, that dual on is under attack by a mixed brigade. Well, that's probably not going to be. Oh, and they're sending in the Pride Division. Okay. I'm also getting some anti aircraft guns in Sonia. Now, how is the situation in France? Uh, Paris has not fallen yet. And I suppose once Paris falls and Vichy France is formed, they might get some of the port over here. And they might also, or they will also probably take care uh, Indochina. So the ideal situation for us is we'll get to maybe the river line in here, or maybe all the way down here. But just so that we take a little bit of the Indochina territories in there. I suppose if we want to get the modifiers, we need to get a bit further than that. So I don't suppose I can join in the coming turn right now. Oh, we're actually drifting towards Axis. Hold on a minute. We are being influenced by the Soviet Union, but yeah, no, we can't join in right now. We're too far away. Well, I suppose that's alright. We'll have to live with it. I guess we could send another division in here. So it's still got seven units. We've got another unit to, uh, retreating. I think what we'll do is we'll take another one. Start pulling that back. Oh, do alone. Uh, we'd lost 130 men. They lost uh, over 2,000. Oh, somewhere around there. I think I may have misread the numbers, to be fair. 
The USA wants to buy some tungsten. You know what? More money is more money. We're at least getting these troops slowly recovering. And I suppose uh, Iliescu's division is in a fairly decent shape. Not necessarily good enough shape to push back the enemy in uh, Weishang. But, oh, Long Hua is uh, another combat. Well, we got the infantry in there defending. We've dug in fairly well, so I don't think this is going to be too bad for us. Plus, we got the interceptor coverage in here now, although we might not be able to deal with all of the enemy units, mind you, but at least a decent chunk of them. Oh, Trilong is under attack. Well, we've got more troops arriving in there now. It's only one unit attacking. I think we can hold on to this. This is a hill's defense along the coastline, but that is actually going fairly well. Oh, they lost 7,000 men there. Okay. Go ahead and move in some more troops along here. And then what we'll do is we'll probably have this one... We'll pull that one back, actually, behind the lines. And then a lot of the other units can probably start pushing uh, towards uh, Huludao. Again, if we have a look at the terrain map mode, uh, Huludao and north of that is going to be hills. And it actually continues pretty far. Uh, but after that, if we can set up a defensive point in here for a little while, I'll go along... I'll get along the river, and then we can probably try to do some sort of uh, good maneuvers uh, west of Mukden. If we could cut them off uh, somewhere in here so the Dalian would be separate from the mainland, that would be quite handy. And then take Mukden. That would also already get rid of the uh, leadership modifier that we have right now, which isn't helping the situation at all, let's be honest. But I do see... Now, uh, another thing that isn't helping the situation is that we are actually out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe if you have it already. Also, got the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. A lot of next time. Bye-bye.